Hello and welcome to Accessible Globe TV, where today we're doing something a little bit different. We are cooking. One of the things that I used to love to do when I was more able-bodied was to cook. And over the years, I have stopped cooking. And that is because, quite frankly, it's dangerous for me to do so. Trying to get things on and off a hot, uh, hot plates or stoves or out of stoves or anything like that. Standing there mixing things when I can trip and spill hot liquids all over myself or whatever. It just became too difficult, too painful and just a little bit too dangerous. And then I discovered the Thermomix and we had a bit of a play with this last year and I've decided that we are going to do some regular programs on cooking on wheels uh, where we use the Thermomix. Let's have a look at what the Thermomix is. It is basically a, a food processor that does the mixing, the weighing, a lot of the cooking, steaming, all sorts of things it can do. It can make, and the new Thermomix, which we're getting one next week, will do fermenting and all kinds of things. So that is what a Thermomix is. Let's have a look at the main uh, part of the Thermomix so I can explain the bits. Uh, I'll just explain. On this left-hand side here, you've got the timer for how long you want something to happen. On the, the middle part here is the temperature, if you're trying to heat things or, or cook things. And on this side here is how, what speed the blades are going and you can reverse them and you can have them going backwards and forwards and all sorts of things. Underneath that, we've got the home and we've got a thing here which is weighing. And now if you look at that weighing screen, that's how you can weigh your ingredients while you're cooking. And you'll see how that works very, very shortly. Also, we've got the uh, turbo mode and the dough mode when you're cooking up some dough. And on this side, you've got the reversing, uh, the reverse enabled, which is uh, reversing the blades for all sorts of reasons, which we'll talk about later. If we pop back to me now, what we are going to do in the first two programs is do two very simple things. And then we're going to get onto things that are much more complicated. The first two we're going to do are some family favorites. One of them is custard. I don't know if you like custard, but I like custard, whether it be banana custard or whatever. We're gonna make plain vanilla custard today. Let's have a look at the ingredients. There's not many, really. There's milk, there's sugar, there's vanilla extract, uh, and there's eggs. So that's really all there is to it. So it's pretty simple. Let's show you how you can select the recipe on the Thermomix and it'll step you through it. So if we go over to the Thermomix and we hit the menu, we've got a thing here. It's actually an automated recipe, this one. So I'll hit automated recipe and you can see there custard. I'll just tap custard. And it says this recipe will take about eight minutes. It's easy and uh, auto and it's pretty terrific. You can see the start there. I hit the start button. We are cooking for you. Please help us by doing what you're told, which is not something I'm usually good at. Now we pick the portion, six to eight, because my producer Carl can eat three to four all by himself. So can I really, but that's beside the point. Hit next, you've got three ways you can have it. Runny, normal, or thick and creamy. I prefer it runny. So for today, we'll do runny. We might do some, some normal or thick and creamy later and let you see what the difference is. Now it'll tell you what the ingredients are. 1,000 grams of milk, full cream, 100 to 200 grams of sugar to taste, 20 grams of corn flour, four eggs, and then you can either have cocoa powder for chocolate custard or vanilla extract for vanilla custard. Now, it's two, te two teaspoons of vanilla extract. If you are using vanilla essence, make sure you double that, okay? So we just hit next now, and it tells me to pour 100 grams of milk, uh, full cream milk, into the, the, uh, the bowl. Let's have a look at the bowl. This is it here, you can see my hand there, so that's the bowl. And I've got some milk here, just pop back over to me for a minute, Cal, so I can spill everything and everyone can see how bad I am at it. We will look at the screen there, it's on zero grams. I will start to pour the milk into the, into the bowl and I should be able to get 1,000 grams in there. You'll see it going up. Did I say that? Yeah, it is 1,000. It tells you on it. So you, it weighs it for, for you. So we're up to 800, 900, 
Well, a little bit too far. Sorry, Carl. We'll be right. Wasn't as much fun as we had in the rehearsal, let me tell you. That was... We don't rehearse much, but we rehearsed that. I don't think we should have. But anyway, uh, now we hit next on the screen. And it says add 100 to 200 grams of sugar. You'll notice that it's already changed it back to zero grams. So I just get my sugar, which is over here. We haven't made a nice, a nice spout for this, so anything could happen. Let's see how we go. We'll go back to putting it in. 200 grams because we like it sweet. Here we go. Going in. Taking too much time, really, if you've got to do this a bit quicker. Gives you more, er more margin for error that way. So we might just get to 195 grams, that'll do. So it's going over the top. We'll get rid of this sugar out of the way. We hit next on the screen. 20 grams of corn flour. It's already um, put the weighing into the right spot. So we'll whack that corn flour in, 20 grams. Anything could happen here, Carl? Because I don't know what I'm doing with that corn flour. It's not coming out easily. Whoop, 15. Whoop. 20. There we go. 20 grams of corn flour. We'll pop that out of the way. We'll hit next again. You can see how easy it is. You do get a little messy on the fingers, as you can see. Add four eggs, which we have already put into this bowl. If you can have a look at me here. We've done it the cheese way. We've made it easy. Go over to the bowl. I'll stick them in the bowl. There we go. Give it a good. My dog's here, by the way. The dogs are part of this, and she freaks out every time the Thermomix turns on, so you'll probably meet her. What do I do now? I hit next again. And it says two teaspoons of vanilla extract. Now, I have the vanilla extract here in my hand. You've got to give it a bit of a, bit of a shake up. That's important. I have a teaspoon measurer, and uh, I'll pop that into the bowl with a bit of luck. I can lean a bit on the bowl because because we're not weighing it. So that should work. Pop that into that bowl where the eggs were. That is the vanilla extract. I hit next. It says insert the measuring cup. If you pop over here, we've got the lid. And we've got the measuring cup. So put the measuring cup into the lid so things don't go all over the place. And then put the lid on the bowl, which is important. Hit next. And it says, because it's automatic, and hopefully the dog won't freak out, all I have to do is turn this speed selector here. Just pop over to the front car. This is the pit speed selector. I just got to turn it, which I'll do now. It locks in the lid. And it starts. I don't know whether I should have pushed everything down with the spatula or not, but we'll see. see now, this is right where it gets interesting. We will be fast forwarding this uh, a little bit later for you. But if you look at this screen now, it says approximately 10 minutes time. and. Up here, you have the centigrade, you have the, uh, the temperature that it's getting to, and it's going to have to get quite hot to around 95 degrees centigrade to really make the custard. And you'll notice that these green lights, oh, you can't see them, but there are green lights on the Thermomix on the left and right of the, of the, of the jug, and they will go red when it gets hot to let you know that the unit's hot, just in case you don't know. Pop back to me for a minute, Carl, if you would. Uh, and that's really all there is to do to make custard. So while we're doing that, let's have a bit of a talk about some things. We might as well thank the people that uh, have been supporting us just very quickly. Uh, we've got Hello World Travel in Harvey Bay, and they are doing all the bookings for our tour to Thailand in November, which is fully accessible. It comes with 
support workers and helpers and everything if you want to know more get in touch we'll put a link on the end of this so you can have a look at it uh, simple solutions to help us with everything totally mobile I owe my and the Australian Government National Disability Insurance Scheme which helps me make these programs let's get rid of them let's hit the subscribe button because it's one of Carl's favorite things we love to have you subscribe to our program it's a, a wonderful thing we need you now I will say that I think cooking is important and we would really like to get some people who are willing to show us how they cook with their disability and put it on our cooking program because we all find ways to make things happen uh, to make things happen safely and I think everybody loves cooking everybody likes to prepare a meal for their loved ones for their family for their friends and the Thermomix really makes that possible and I'm sure there are plenty of other ways too that you can actually cook and we'd like uh, people to send in uh, film and photos of how they cook and share with everyone how it happens. Um, if you look back at the screen now, it doesn't look like much is happening. We've got the eight, eight minutes to go. Now you'll notice that the temperature just changed to 37 degrees centigrade. And as we talk, that will, uh, that will increase quite a bit. And it'll go up to about 95. We'll just wait until it goes to the next step if we can. And you can make all sorts of things. You can make, uh, you can even do slow cooking in the new Thermomix, which is pretty incredible. And you can do it all without leaving the table if you prepare carefully. And I mean, how safe and simple is that? As you can see, folks, we have progressed. We've got less than a minute to go. And you can see the red, I think you can see the red light on it. I'm not sure, yeah, you can. So it has gone red. Uh, it shows you that it's hot. It's at 85 degrees centigrade. Probably should be a bit higher, but I actually took the, the lid off to see how it looked going around. Do you want to have a look? Go to the top, Carl. There you go. There it is happening. I just wanted to do that just to show you. Um, just a quick look. Okay, come back to me. We're ready to go. We're at 90 degrees centigrade. I can't wait for the custard. I'm pretty excited. So we're at, we're at full heat anyway. It always says approximately one minute to go, but it seems like a lot longer than a minute to me. But we're pretty close to there. You can add uh, some cinnamon or some nutmeg if you like. I'm not big on the extra bits, but I might put a bit of nutmeg on just to show you. I'll put some into this bowl shortly. When it, when it bing bings and makes the noise, tells me it's ready. We hope that you've enjoyed seeing how easy it is to cook with a Thermomix, it really is quite simple and quite safe and quite fun. That's the most important part and also delicious. So I'm just waiting now. It's that long one minute again, Carl. Thailand time. Yeah, he said Thailand time. That's what it was like when we visited Thailand. Uh, so, or Filipino time if you're in the Philippines, guys. So uh, really good. A minute to go for delicious runny custard. We'll be back uh, in a couple of days to do some lemonade, which is kind of delicious. It's just lemons, ice and sugar, but it makes the most wonderful chilled lemonade, a really refreshing drink. So you can, you can look forward to that. And then we'll be going on to things that are a little bit more complicated, like pea and ham soups, and uh, you can make butter chicken. You can do all sorts of fantastic things. We might even make some butter for if you run out of butter but you've got some cream we'll make some butter we'll show you all the great things you can do with the Thermomix pour the custard immediately into a serving bowl I can do that let's just see what we do go to the lid I take the lid off oh actually I'll move it I'll move it out first like this it's pretty easy really I will take the lid off because it's easier for the pouring you can see that the steamy bits. I'm just going to be very careful because I'm of where I'm doing this, but the runny custard will go in. Have a look at that. I'm going to put this back in at the moment. I'm not going to put a lot in there, but if we go there, look at that. It is absolutely delicious. Might put a little bit of, 
I'll try it without the nutmeg first, see how it is. Beautiful. Really hot. Absolutely, incredibly delicious. Carl, you can't have any. It's no good, mate. I'll have to eat it. Kidding. Thank you very much for watching our first episode of a reimagined cooking on wheels. We did try it a couple of years ago. We do think it is worth doing. Uh, my dog, come here, Ash. My dog wishes to say hello and thank you for joining us. She, all she really cares about is eating the custard. Thanks very much. We'll see you again in a couple of days with another program on Accessible Globe TV.